Hello, hello, welcome to another wonderful tutorial. Today you're going to learn how to create these amazing waves, but this video will be divided into two parts actually. So in this video, you're gonna create this part with the waves and in the second video, we're going to make the boat and the final touches with the textures and the color grading and all that good stuff. So stay tuned, let's begin. <laughs> For the start, create a new composition called Waves 1. I've already done that and I also have this color scheme here. If you want to use the same colors, uh, you can just uh, see the hex code here on each of the color. Alright, so first of all, let's take this rectangle tool, double click on it and make sure it's below this color scheme. For the fill, let's just choose the color 5, press OK. And now take again the rectangle tool and this time make sure you have the tool creates mask button selected. And now just create a mask for the layer, something like this. All right, let's rename the layer to wave one and let's apply a wave warp effect. For the type, we're going to have sign. For the height, about 15. For the width about 105, 90 degrees for direction. For the speed, let's make it zero. And for the pinning, let's choose bottom edge. And if you have a powerful computer, you can just put the resolution to height or you can just let it to low, whatever you want. All right, now all you have to do is click on the stopwatch for the phase. Press U on the layer wave one to reveal the property and now hold alt and click on the stopwatch and here let's just write time multiplied by 200 and this will create an animation for the for the wave and the next step you have to do is to create is to duplicate the wave one with ctrl d we can duplicate the layer and all you have to change here is the color let's change the color to to this number three and also let's change the height press on this keyframe then press you to reveal the property let's change the height to about minus 19 let's go for the frames 10 20 30 40 and let's make it 19 and in this way we have some variation in the waves in the height of the waves now we want to loop this animation from minus 19 to 19 so all you have to do is again hold alt click on the stopwatch and just write loop out and for the attribute let's choose ping pong something like this and now let's also change this to color burn and now we have two variations of the waves the next thing we have to do is to create a new adjustment layer. Let's call it effects and let's add a turbulent displacement effect. For the amount, you're going to have 10. For the size, 222. For the complexity, let's say 2. And again, for the evolution, click on the stopwatch press you to reveal the property, hold alt, click on the stopwatch again and just write time multiplied by 100. And now we have some more variations in the waves. What you can also do is to add a directional blur. Make sure you have the layer selected. All right, uh, let's change the direction to 90 degrees. And for the blur length, I think 10 it's it's more than enough and we're done with the first composition and let's now create a new composition let's call it waves 2 actually let's create the bubble waves first bubble waves all right let's drag the color scheme right click on this and choose guide layer and in this way this composition won't appear in other compositions all right so let's take the rectangle tool again, double click on it 
and for the color let's make it number one all right now duplicate the layer take again the rectangle tool make sure you have the mask selected and drag a big mask something like this press f to reveal the feather increase the feather to about 100 and let's change the mode to dissolve but don't forget to change the color let's change this to let's say this blue color number three and now because we have the feather applied and also the dissolve mode we have this this cool grain effect let's say all right now duplicate the layer and change the color to number four and also resize the mask something like this duplicate the layer again change the color to number six okay resize the mask make it smaller and duplicate again the layer make it color seven and again resize the mask to something like this you can obviously spend a little more time here just to make sure that every color is evenly evenly separated from each other all right now let's create a new adjustment layer let's call this effects and let's apply a twirl effect to it twirl again make sure you have the layer selected twirl oh i've already applied one all right for the angle let's just write four rotations and for the radius about 65 let's also add some wave warp effect sign for the type for the height about 35 for the width about 70 for the speed one is good and again click on this face press you hold alt and click on the stopwatch and just write time multiplied by 400 all right let's also add a turbulent displacement effect actually it's turbulent displace not displacement but whatever all right and let's change the amount to about 35 24 this size and for the complexity 5.5 again for the evolution click on this stopwatch press you to reveal the property hold alt and press again on this stopwatch and let's write again times multiplied by 400 now you can see that we have something that looks like some waves in a swirl and you can see that we have this black color which is the color of the background and we don't want it so to get rid of the of this blank space all you have to do is just take all the layers uh, duplicate them with ctrl d put them after the after the adjustment layer and all you have to do is change the mode to lighten and now we got rid of that all right we're done with this bubble waves composition another one is the waves 2 composition waves 2 and in this one let's take the waves on composition in which we have these waves and now let's take the the pen tool to create a new shape layer for this just create a new shape layer something like a, like a sine wave something like this make sure you don't have a fill but we have a stroke and for the stroke let's make it color too and about 20 pixels for the width all right let's also add a turbulent displace effect make sure here it's twist and for the amount about 950 for the size about 45 complexity one is good and for the evolution click again on the stopwatch press u 
all that and click on the stopwatch and just write here time multiplied by 50. All right, now all you have to do is to rename this uh, 2000 years later. Man, I don't have nothing in mind. Let's just let it shape later on. Now let's also apply a set met effect. And here let's choose the waves one. And in this way, the shape layer on will appear only inside the waves on composition. Now let's put this to color dodge. Color dodge. All right. And let's create another shape by taking the ellipse tool and just drag a lot of circles here. It doesn't have to be perfect. We actually want some variations something like this and maybe one here all right we don't want a fill but for the stroke let's change this to color 5 20 pixels yeah, that's fine and let's now take the contents the effects from the shape layer on copy them and paste them into the shape layer 2 let's press u to reveal the property for the evolution we want time multiplied by 100 and let's change the mode to lighten something like this okay now let's take the wave bubble composition drag it below the shape layer 2 duplicate it and just move it below the shape layer 1 for the first one make it alpha matte to shape layer 1 and for the second one make it alpha matte to shape layer 2 let's also change the opacity to about 30 and for this one to about 60 and we're done here all we have to do now is create the final composition final and let's drag the waves 1 and the waves 2 now all we have to do is to change the mode of the waves 2 composition to hard light and for some reason i had disabled the effects layer i don't know why let's also create a background new solid uh, we want the guide layer new solid make it number seven drag it below and voila also we can add some water effect so that's all but in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to create the boat and the textures around the water and all that good stuff talk to you soon